Uh, this team no longer in the playoffs, and we are very happy about it. Or wait, no. They may no longer be in the playoffs after tonight, and we'd be very happy about it. Uh, you're saying we. I know it's you because you're talking about Minnesota. You're dang right we are. Stop it's saying we. There's no we, we in this. We. We want them out. We want them gone. Enemies of the pod need to be gone. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's talk about it. Would you like time to think about it? Or yes, do you yes, want to I just would. actually I can't even up? find them on the sheet. Oh, I found them. This is a huge list. How about this? Wait. So now that you've had time to think, yes, lots of time. Talk to me about your ideas for Minnesota. So let me let me run through this list here. Will Trap, Roman Metnier, Tyler Miller, Joseph Rosales, Abu Danladi, Nico Hansen, DJ Taylor, Jacory Hayes, O'Neill Fisher, Callum Montgomery, Eric Dick, Justin McMaster, Azil Jackson, Nabi Kimbun Gucci, and Tani Oluwase. Those are all the guys that they have to make decisions on. There's a lot of people to think about. What are you what are you thinking they do? What's their what's their plan of action? Um so I think Trap comes back. Uh mainly because I think they're they've been a steady playoff team at this point. Uh and he's been a pretty steady member of the team. So I don't think they're gonna look to shake that up too much. Uh unless he's commanding like a huge contract. I think that's the only way. I think that's the only way he doesn't come back. Um Metnier, I think, is gone. He's not the same guy that a couple seasons ago was regarded as one of the best right backs in the league. Uh, Tyler Miller, I think, is back, especially with it just being an option. It should be pretty easy for them to exercise and bring him back and continue to challenge with Dane for the starting spot. Um, I said Rosales comes back. Dunlady, I said, does not come back. Uh, Hanson, I said, does not come back. DJ Taylor, I said, yes, comes back. And then I said, Hayes, Fisher, Montgomery, Dick, McMaster do not come back. Um, I said Jackson does come back, although I'm curious because I see your comment on the sheet and I, I'm curious to know what that means. Um, I'm going to assume it's something Red Bull related. No, and it's then, not. And then uh, Kim Baguchi and Oluwas. Oluwa, Olu. <laughs> brain is not working. Um, Oluwase, uh, I said, does not do not come back. Um, okay, so I said, Will Trap doesn't come back. I think, yes, he's been a, a part of it, but he hasn't been a good part of it. Um, I think that they can do better with whatever money he's commanding i can't imagine an mls player salaries because that just came out today so we can actually take a look at that um according to the mls players association our friend will trap commands more than three quarters of a million dollars in salary that's pretty high yeah you can you can do a lot with that um, so I think, I think he's, he's on his way out. I agree with your thought on Metnir. I think he's, he's not what he used to be. Tyler Miller is kind of like the Ryan Mara for me. If he would like to come back, I think they'll have him. But if he wants to go and try and make a push for, uh, maybe nations league, get back in the men's national team picture, he doesn't want to sit behind uh, our boy Dwayne, then <clears throat> I think, uh, I think he's on his way out. I think Joseph Rosales comes back again. Uh, like you had mentioned, I think he has enough there to to fill that role if uh Will Trap does leave. I think he'd be the next guy up. Abu Dunladi out. Uh I don't know why they brought him back in the first place. Um that's we I've had that conversation already. Uh Nico Hansen also out. I just don't think he he's found himself a spot and at 28 the potential's not really there. DJ Taylor, one of their best players this year, of course, is going to come back. Jacory Hayes, O'Neill Fisher, Callum Montgomery, Eric Dick all gone. Um, Justin McMaster, I have coming back. Um, he was a, a first round draft pick. Um, 
was it this year or was it last year? It was last year. So, um, five goals and three assists in MLS Next Pro this this year is a good return. So I think he comes back and and fills in. Uh, Kim Bunguchi and Uluwasi, I also have not coming back. I don't think they made enough of an impact at MLS Next Pro. Azil Jackson. Okay, so let me talk to you about an Azil Jackson, okay? Uh, MLS Next Pro best 11 this year. Um, if I can, I'll post stats really quick so you can have a, an understanding of what he's done. So for Minnesota United 2 FC. 10 goals, 7 assists, and 23 appearances just under 2,000 minutes. A goal every two games, at, uh, uh, roughly. He has a, a serious, multiple serious offers made from St. Louis City, the new uh, expansion team coming next year. And also has interest from Germany and England to go overseas, like, tomorrow. Um, I think no matter how hard they try and keep him, I think somebody else gets him first. He's just got a little bit too much talent, probably a little bit too much drive to stay here. Uh, one, in an expansion team like uh, St. Louis City, which is going to have its bumps, uh, and especially somebody like that at 20 years old thinking that he might want to go over to Europe. I think that's his calling. So um, It'd be nice, but I don't believe uh, they will hold on to him, personally. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's probably fair. I, I, I would assume then based on what you said, that he will end up being somewhere else by the start of the season. Correct. Um, well...